a moment of meditation, joy of a giant church. I am a spirit. I have a soul. I live in a body. I am a new creation. God loves me. God blesses me. God makes me righteous. God gives me peace that the world cannot give. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am delighted. I am happy. I am joyful. I am okay. I am doing good. In Christ, I am a person with overwhelming confidence to win in any situation and circumstance. I am a victor, not a victim. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to control my inner climate regardless of external circumstances. I am a spirit having the spirit. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to maintain a positive attitude in a negative situation. I am blessed to be a blessing. I will never, never, never be the same again. Pour forth righteousness. Drip down heavens from above and let the clouds pour down righteousness. Let the earth open up and salvation bear fruit and righteousness sprout with it. I, the Lord, have created it. Isaiah chapter 45, 8 NASB In James chapter 5, verse 7, the Bible talks about the early and latter rain. The early rain is for sowing, while the latter rain is just before harvest. In the Old Testament, they were waiting for a latter rain. Read Joel chapter 2, verse 28. For them, that latter rain came on the day of Pentecost when the Spirit was poured out. But that outpouring of the Spirit initiated the church. Therefore, for the church, the early rain is what those in the Old Testament called their latter rain. It was the beginning of the church. The latter rain in the church is through His word. Hosea chapter 10 verse 12 says, Sow to yourselves in righteousness, live in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, till He come and rain righteousness upon you. How does He rain righteousness upon you? It's through His word, just like it happened in the Old Testament when the word was given to them from heaven. And because the word came from heaven, it was called rain. Isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 to 11 also draws a parallel between the word and rain. Read entire reference. That's the word, the logos of God. That's in your heart today. No wonder Jesus said, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. John chapter 7 verse 38. This living water comes out through words. So, when our theme verse talks about pouring down righteousness, as earlier stated, it's done through words. Pour forth words. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 3 NIV says, If clouds are full of water, they pour rain upon the earth. Keep prophesying and filling the clouds of your life, city, nation, and even the clouds of the regions beyond with words of blessings and righteousness. Decree God's word into the realm of the spirit until the rain begins to pour. Your words are powerful. As you speak, the earth will open up and produce salvation and righteousness. Hallelujah! Prayer I put down righteousness upon the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus, people are coming to Christ and producing fruits of righteousness. Wickedness is taken away from man's heart. For righteousness is poured out. The word of God is growing mightily and prevailing in all the nations, resulting in a greater influence of the gospel. In Jesus' name, Amen. I hope so much Jesus be inside you and covers you today. Have a glorious day or have a glorious night. See you tomorrow.